Hey guys, I'm on my way to my school. It's Saturday. The building is open from 9 to 2, but I have to pick up a few things before I get there. I'm on my way to the dollar store to get more bins for the library. They have like those the planters that I have in my room. I got them from the dollar store, so I'm going back to get more and then pick up a few things from Walmart that's supposed to be ready at 10 because I didn't want to get there at night. I didn't want to spend all day. I mean, we have another week and a half before the kids come. Well, me the teacher night is the middle of next week, but it doesn't have to be completely done then. Anyway, I, I never like to, I try not to spend an enormous amount of money every year each year <laughs> this year because the color schemes are different what I had last year they're really the farmhouse rustic farmhouse uh, thing that I had really does not work in this room and also the school doesn't have the colored borders but they don't have any borders but they don't have the colored paper that I need and it's border paper I mean, bulletin board paper is, is not that cheap. I mean, you can get, I've, been, I've bought so much that I've, I've already spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on just things for the room, the decorations, the, because it's a new grade level. Everything I had was for the littles. And so I had nothing for upper levels. So I've never really had to replenish anything because I've always taught I've taught second grade for the last three years. Before that, it was third, then first, and second. So everything I had was for the lower level kids. So I had to upgrade this year, and it's becoming expensive. And but I, it's going to be worth it. I just hate spending my personal money for the for the school. I know that sounds bad, but border it's getting really expensive to get all the walls covered and all the bulletin boards covered with borders and paper and yeah but anyway I'll get back to you when I'm in the room well, another thing I bought is the doorbell I left the remote over there, but they're super loud. I need to figure out how to turn that volume down. It'll be disturbing the classes next door. Anyway, it's, it's very thin. It's thinner than I expected, so I will be able to see. Okay. I don't think I have enough for another row. Another. You know how to get those out of there. Definitely not enough. Should have bought two. So the bottom is going to have to be filled with something else. I do have some motivational posters that haven't arrived yet, so I'll just put those at the bottom. Side. I staple it once. Oh my god, that's the wrong end. Uh 
I'm sorry. It's 135. Building closes at 2. I'm leaving. Because I'm frustrated. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. Um, I'll talk to you guys another day. I'm back and I have done some things. And again, I forgot to turn the camera on. But as you can see behind there, I've got my my college board up. I've got my data up, the birthdays, and the alphabet. I'm waiting for my daughter to get here so she can put it up because it's gonna go across there. I have put up my tech support. Well, not tech support, but I'm missing a few letters. They won't be here until the 12th, but the control C, control X, Control V, the hotkeys for the Chromebook, and then a voice level. And then I have my washi tape over here that I'm gonna put on the books according to genre. And I need to do that and cut out my hall passes and put them on the lanyards. But all of that I purchased off TPT. The, the book genres and the hall passes, all that came off TPT along with the alphabets with the quotes. So yeah, so I'm chugging right along. I've done some laminating. Uh, this idea I got off one of the YouTube teachers and I forgot her name, but it says Beyonce, it says don't forget your name, has picked up Beyonce. This is gonna go over where they turn in their work. Well, actually, all of this is off TBD. The Accountable Talk. Where is it? The Accountable Talk. Bubbles, speech bubbles. TBT. This one, the labels for my Sterilite bins, Miss Teach and stuff. TBT. These, I think I bought from uh, a teacher store near me. So yeah, that's what I'm working on today other than cleaning up some things. And hopefully I'll be able to put together my stools. I bought five stools for my kidney table from Ikea. So that's what I'm planning to do today before, hopefully before six o'clock. Okay, it. this is uh, over my teacher desk and I'm not finished with that, but I'm just showing you up close what I've done is the voice levels and where I'm going to put my anchor charts on a green background. I put up, I'm going to get a little bit closer to the bulletin board that I finally finished over there. I'm still working on those stools. It's kind of difficult to put up, so I'm getting my husband to do that. Here I put up some uh, parts of speech posters I have from last year, my configuration board. And here's a close-up of the bulletin board that I worked on forever. And my posters, my motivational posters are not in yet. Those are my ABC, my alphabet um, that I'm going to put out with the motivational quotes. That's where they're going to turn in their papers. Pencils down at the bottom. Composition is going to, for my three classes, going to go in each of those little cubbies. My college board. Sam Houston, eat them up cats, bear cats. That's the birthday board that I'm going to put their birthdays on. And my data boards. That's my data wall. And my calming station. I still haven't put up the instructions for the relaxation station. That's the up close of my tech help. And my daughter, oldest daughter, is there helping me. I haven't figured out what to do with that yet. Extra border from last year because the room is so brown. I can't use my browns that I had. So I switched to mainly black and white with pops of color here and there. And I'm working on the library, the library books with the tape. The washi tape is a little thin, so I think I might have to get electrical tape. And I put those banners across each window. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the coffee cups on the wall. I was just trying to cover up some spots. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. But thank you guys for watching. Catch me on the next setup video.